Welcome back. In this video we're going to walk through the six steps for performing a hypothesis test for a population mean. First, we identify the null and alternative hypotheses. There are three options. Our null hypothesis is always HO, mu is equal to mu sub zero, and then the alternative is either mu is not equal to mu sub zero, or mu is less than or mu is greater than mu sub zero. Step two is where we select a significance level alpha. Remember that alpha is the probability of type one error. So alpha is selected based on how serious it would be to make a type one error. Now when we're looking at a problem in the textbook or online, the value of alpha is usually given. In step three we compute the test statistic. So it's x bar minus mu sub zero divided by s over the square root of n. It has a t distribution with n minus one degrees of freedom where n is the sample size. Now in step four we get the p-value from our software. The p-value is a probability and it's represented by the area under the curve of the t-distribution out on the tails of the distribution. And so we can have a right tail test where the p-value is the area under the curve to the right of the test statistic t sub zero. We can have a left tail test and a two-tailed test. In step five, we compare the p-value to alpha. If the p-value is less than alpha, we reject the null hypothesis and conclude that the alternative is true. If the p-value is greater than or equal to alpha, we fail to reject the null hypothesis. And in step six, we state the conclusion of the test in terms of the original research problem. And we want to be sure to state whether or not there is sufficient evidence to conclude that the alternative hypothesis is true. So now, let's look at an example. So for this problem, let's assume that the mean resting metabolic rate, or RMR, of healthy males in complete silence is 5,710 kilojoules per day. Now, suppose that the researchers measured the RMR for 45 healthy males who were listening to calm classical music and found their mean RMR to be 5,708.07 kilojoules per day with a standard deviation of 992.05. Now, at the alpha equals 0 0.05 level of significance, is there sufficient evidence to conclude that the mean RMR of males listening to calm classical music is lower than 5,710 kilojoules per day? First, let's set up our hypotheses. So we're going to test HO, mu equals 5,710 kilojoules per day, versus the alternative H1, mu is less than 5,710 kilojoules per day. Now, before we proceed, let's think about our assumptions. First, our population of interest is healthy males listening to calm classical music. So let's assume that our researcher has successfully taken a simple random sample from this population. And second, we assume that our sample is drawn from a population that's normally distributed. However, since our sample size is large, 
remember we have n equals 45 healthy males, then our test is still going to be valid. So now, in step two, we note that our significance level is alpha equals 0.05. And in step three, we calculate the value of our test statistic. So remember, we had a sample mean of x bar equals 5,708.07 and a sample standard deviation of s equals 992.05. So we plug these values into our test statistic and we get t sub 0 equals negative 0 0.013. Now we can run this test in statistical software such as StatCrunch and we get our t statistic of negative 0 0.013 and our p value of 0.4948. So for step four, we identify the p-value and then sketch in the p-value region on the probability distribution. Now notice that we've identified our probability distribution as a t-distribution with 44 degrees of freedom and we've identified the value of the test statistic as minus 0 0.013 and notice that's just barely to the left of t equals zero. So that means that our p-value, since this is a left-tailed test, is all the area under the curve to the left of negative 0 0.013. And so clearly that area is almost 50% of the area under the curve. And so that's why our p-value is so large at 0.4948. Now, step five. Since our p-value of 0.4948 is greater than alpha of 0.05, we fail to reject the null hypothesis. And so in step six we say, at the alpha equals 0.05 level of significance, there is not sufficient evidence to conclude that the mean resting metabolic rate of males listening to calm classical music is less than 5,710 kilojoules per day.